Hi, this is Chuck with Nerd3D. In this tutorial, we're going to cover using the setup room to create conforming clothing for the LaFemme figure. The first thing you need to do is import the geometry that's going to become your conforming clothing. Import Wavefront Object File. Make sure that the scale is set to 100% and that none of these options are checked. Click OK. Find this, the object file that you want to use and import it. Now make sure that you've got the, the geometry that you want to use selected before you enter the setup room. You can accidentally adjust the figure instead of the clothing if you don't do that. So I've got the new geometry selected. I'm going to click, click Setup button right up here. Once you're in the setup room, there's only one thing that you really need to do here, and that is to load the rig for the new clothing item. Open the library and go to the LaFemme library, and you'll find a special dev rig called the Fem Clothing Dev. This rig includes the JCMs set up a special way so that you have the least amount of work to do later on down the road. Double click this to load it. Now this being a bra top, there's not a lot of body parts needed. So I'm going to unselect everything and just select back the parts that I want. In this case it is an all chest figure, but you need to include at least one joint and sometimes two joints beyond the, the end of your clothing. So I'm going to include the neck, and I'm going, to go, I'm going to include the collar and the shoulder because shoulder rotations will affect the chest sometimes. Do that on both sides. Um, make sure you include the breasts because they, of course, will affect the chest area. Because this is a top, nothing below the waist is going to matter. You do want transfer morphs checked on because we'll need those JCMs copied in here. Auto group shouldn't be checked. You should have already set your geometry up with the correct groupings. That's all we need to do in the setup room. Let's go back into the pose room and see how we did. I have a new figure in the scene now, the La Femme Dev. The clothing item picks up the name of your donor figure. So the first thing we'll do so we don't get confused here is go ahead and change the name to something so we know what we're talking about. Now right here I want to show you something that happened and why we use that special clothing dev rig. If I select the new clothing item here, you'll notice that the JCMs are already in it. And the JCMs are set up a special way. And the special way is that they don't have anything fancy about them. There's no dependencies. There's nothing special about them. They are just the morphs. And we want them that way because when we use the option to match morphs here, we won't need anything special. No special coding is required to make the JCMs in the clothing work. They will simply match the JCMs that are in the figure automatically. And that's what's special about the clothing dev rig is that it doesn't have anything special in it. I'm going to select the top figure conform to and pick out my target figure here. And we're going to see how well the joints copied. And for the most part, this is already going to work, but I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to make sure are set up correctly in the new conforming item. Go to the conforming figure, select the body, and on the Properties tab, make sure that all five of these options right here are checked. This way, the morphs, scales, and translations are already set up to match in your conforming figure. Now, whenever you copy a figure like this, there's going to be some details that don't copy as well as you would like them to have. For example, you can see there's a little waviness in the rotation here for the strap. And we're going to cover fixing that in the next tutorial. You need to determine before you fix it whether the problem is coming from the rotation weight maps, the bulge maps, or perhaps the joint controlled morphs. I'm going to show you how to determine which one is causing you the problems and how to fix it in the next tutorials. Okay, so now we need to save this. First, make sure you've got the right thing selected. Open the library. Click the little plus thing, give it a name, and click OK. Now, 
we've got it conformed, so it's going to ask us if we want to save the whole thing or just the individual. In this case, we do want just the individual. Now you're well on your way to creating conforming clothing for the La Femme figure. Stay tuned for more tutorials on this subject. Thanks for watching, and happy rendering.